everybody, we're here with a new series. It's going to be Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Can't wait to play this one. Are Soviet spies living among us? 52 American citizens have been taken hostage at the American Embassy in Tehran. An unnamed White House official is that a Cold War disaster could be just around the corner. Mr. President, we have two names. Man, the graphics look good. Just give the word. It's time to send a message. There will be no more hostages. Alright. Man, uh, I can't wait because, to be honest, the last Black Ops they made, Black Ops 4, man, I, I, I really didn't like that one at all. Because it was really, it would, didn't you even have no campaign. It was just this multiplayer. This guy's done more for less. Go look the other way. Nowhere left to run. Alex Mason. All right. Hello. Glad you could join us. You remember this. We cleared a move on a target. Kasim is in his apartment, but he's well protected. I can keep my men out of the area for 15 minutes. I hope you brought an army. We brought enough. Pleasure doing business with you, huh? Come on. Woods is itching for a dust dump. We don't want to let him down. Oh, shoot. Woods. Alright. Let me do the subtitles. I'm going to go to audio. Somebody, volume, microphone. Uh... This is not it. Um, interface? Yeah, here we go. Yep, alright. Man, this is so good playing, like, uh, uh, Black Ops, We're on man. The clock, Woods. Let's not keep the same way. Hey, Mason. Party favors are in the trunk. So you're just not gonna give me a gun? Oh. Look at Woods, safe. man. That piece oh, of trash yes. has a lot of things. And it's then safe. we get to play as Mason. Oh, wow. Do we really need to take this son of a bitch alive, Adler? Kasim has info we need. Everyone else can take a powder. Okay. Apartment's just up ahead. This is, man, this looks so good, bro. Oh, my God. Hans only bought us 15 minutes. We need to hit Kasim hard and fast. Let's go. Okay. Light him up. Go, go, go! Wow. Kasim's headed up the stairs. Man. The combat is amazing. Like the fact that this is the 80s is <laughs> it's crazy, man. This is so amazing. Oh my god. Even though this is just the beginning, it's so good. Watch it, boys. We need him alive. Oh, oh. 
Stick. Keep on him. Jesus, this guy's bad. Go, go. Jeez. Sure, there's a lot up? of guards. You're up, Mason. What do you want me to do? Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait! Oh, okay. Did I the money? I have no idea where Arashi is. I don't think you understand the situation. <laughs> well, uh... You have, rules. you have rules! You took hostages. The rules changed. Adler, don't play. Wait, wait. He's in Turkey. He's meeting someone in Trap Zone Airfield tomorrow night. Oh, oh, I swear, I swear I don't know. They only communicate with coded messages. There you go. Thank you. Oh no, I thought when they meant release, they meant like drop them. Oh, here. There you go. No loose ends. We got what we came for. I'm not scraping him off the pavement. Hudson, Arash is in trap zone, Turkey. All right. 18 hours later. Kasim is out of the picture. How long before we get Arash? The team arrived in Turkey a few hours ago. They should be in position shortly. Oh, this is the uh, the mission from the uh, trailer. I remember this. Airfield's just up ahead. Let's go find this shithead. Okay. <laughs> Priority is to ID a rush before things go hot. It's, man, bro, the beginning is just amazing. Mason, check it out. Alright. Any sign of a rush? That's not him.
Alter. information from the Manhattan Project was stolen from Los Alamos by the Russian spy known as Perseus. They, by Perseus, attempted to steal an American-made nuclear bomb from a U.S. firebase. Five days ago, while on a mission, we acquired intel that Perseus is in play again and planning an attack on the West. So that's Perseus, I guess? Perseus. The CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. We're also aware he's more myth than fact. I mean, allow me to introduce the man I sued, sir, Russell Adler. He's one of the few people who even come close to capturing Perseus. Uh, Mr. Adler, why should we take this Perseus threat seriously? You don't have to, sir. <laughs> yeah, then a lot of innocent people are gonna die. Why do you say that? Sir, every time Perseus has come into play, it's shifted the balance of the Cold War. After 13 years of silence, if he's active, something big is going to happen. Something that will affect the free world. Oh, shit. <laughs> sir, sir, Mr. President, sir. Mr. President. Mr. President, this is Jason Hudson and Russell Allen. I know their names. Who do you think approved their last mission? Is the threat real? Yes, sir, we believe it is. Can you stop Perseus? We can, sir. I've already submitted the requisition for my team. Sir, their requests are highly irregular. Most likely illegal. If the press gets a hold... What the hell are you talking about? You know who we are? Every mission we go on is illegal. Sergeant Woods. Plausible deniability is the backbone of our work. Al, we're talking about preventing an attack on the free men and women of the world. Give Mr. Adler whatever he wants. Gentlemen, you've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. There is no higher duty. There is no higher honor. And while few people will know of your struggles, rest assured, the entire free world will benefit. I know you won't fail us. It's like the audio is not matching the... It's weird. This is Hudson. How long until we have a lead on Perseus? They're about to get started. Adler's in West Berlin. He should be at the safe house soon. Do you trust him? <laughs> I'm not the one you should be asking, Black. What about his team? It's a strong group. He chased down Sims, Azalei, even pulled some strings to get Helen Park from MI6. We'll get them Mason and Woods soon. I'm not so sure about Park. She and Adler have that business from before. Of course he wants her there. And the new one. Well, no, don't get me started. That's the one we need to keep our eyes on. But man, the he, like this is this game just man. This thing about Black Ops, 
when it comes to like woods and all those people my gosh it's always amazing uh first uh, oh they let you tie okay uh, let you type the name in you guys probably won't be able to see me typing it they probably have it blocked off okay North America I mean like I'll be able to see my skin though because it'll be first person Yeah, he's safe. We've got a job. E9. Die. Land a bond. Oh, it has my eye. Wow. Okay. That's cool. Let's get started. There's been a surge in Russian chatter in the last 48 hours. The CIA and the DOD have tapped on their inside sources for anything substantial. So far, there are no leads on Perseus. MI6 has come up empty-handed as well. And we'll have to start somewhere. So we're going back here. Vietnam, 1968. One of our closest encounters with Perseus. Shit. Some part of me always knew that mission wasn't done with us. Pull up everything we've got on the attack at Da Nang and run it past Park. She'll cross-reference it with MI6. We're looking for code names, encrypted transmission, Russian activity with NVA, anything that could be a lead. Good. Bell, this is where you come in. We needed the best of the CIA and SOC. That's exactly why I requested you again. Head to the evidence board. Retrace our steps through Danae. Anything that could give us a lead on Perseus. Okay. Uh, use evidence board to select the next mission. Previous mission to examine evidence. Okay, so that's cool. They let you uh, do that. Um, let's do fracture jaw. Monster mission. Let's do this. All right, Bell. We're going back to Vietnam. First time Perseus pinged our radar. It was late January 68. We were a joint CIA SOG task force embedded within the 3rd Marine Regiment near Da Nang. SOG was there to sniff out Soviet activity. And word had it, Russian operatives were active in the region. Perseus had no known presence in Vietnam. That changed at Da Nang. Somehow Perseus knew about Operation Fracture Jaw. Fracture Jaw? That one sure went sideways. We launched out of Camp Haskins. Yeah, I'll never forget that shit. Good. We want those memories. No details too small. A face, a name. We're looking for anything that can lead us to Perseus. This feels like looking for a needle in a haystack. In a field of haystacks. Maybe, but that needle's somewhere. Remember, we had a job to do. But man, though, like this game looks good, and this is like I'm playing this on the PS4. Uh, but just imagine on the PS5, this game. Oh my god, <laughs> man! I tried to get the PS5 though. Uh, what was it? I think the launch was like November 12th or 11th, something like that. I forgot which one. Uh, but it didn't work. It sold out by the time my <laughs> website didn't even want to load because everybody, you know, was on and everything. Right, John. That one sure went sideways. But whenever it, they sell it again, I'll make sure to get it. Hopefully, I can. Bell, it's time to wake up. It's great time. Just kick me, man. You woke me up. Then you just okay. All right. Archer Joe, Christian Logan. Let's see. I can't ask him. Nineteen sixty-eight.
Welcome to another day in the life of Camp Haskins, a little oasis in the middle of this godforsaken shitstorm. You're pretty safe here. Hey, Butcher. How's the arm? Still hurts like hell, but at least I can move it. This looks good. Hey Sims, you know reading that shit's gonna make you go blind. Yep. That's why I want it all up here. Well, you're with Sims. Usually bring out the best of each other. We got a new assignment. FOB4 Ripcord is holding a vital asset. Charlie wants real bad. What kind of asset are we talking about? The kind you don't ask about. Ripcord has been taking a hell of a beating. So it's our job to secure the asset and get the fuck out. Relax. We got fast flyers providing combat air support for this mission. It'll be a walk in the park. <sighs> Headsets on. Birds check in when ready. Badger 9 or 1, good to go. Badger 9 or 2, clear to go. Badger 9 or 3, rotors up. All birds, go, go, go. Crank up and pull pitch. All birds are in the air. You all sitting comfortably? Oh man, Adler? Why do I get the feeling you about to give us some bad news? Because you're a smart guy, Sims. But the news isn't bad. In fact, it could be very, very good. The asset of Ripcord is going to have to wait a little while. We're breaking off from this. A source tipped us off that there may be a heavy hitter in town. A Soviet operative known as Perseus. Oh, shit. Appreciate the enthusiasm, Sims. If our source is right, we could be looking at an Intel gold mine. First time Perseus pinged our radar. Approaching the village now. Eliminate village defenses. RPG! What's up with the thing? All right, let's go rejoin the Armada and get this fucking asset. Center one, this is Ripcord. We are still under heavy fire. BC are breaching the perimeter. What is your status? We're inbound now, Ripcord. Get that asset ready for transfer. Roger that, Niner One. We'll keep the asset safe as long as we can. Ripcord out. Badger Niner One. Oh, it's actually air. okay. Ah. BC are all over the mountains. No sense here. All targets are battling.
crazy that we're actually flying a helicopter. Call this a success, Sims? <laughs> At least the nuke didn't go off. Then, oh, it was a nuke. So we were literally More fighting right beside him. We got intel on Perseus. Wow. Told you we had a job to do. It ain't done yet, not by a long way. Alright. Four hours later. Yeah. I remembered finding that encrypted intel in Vietnam and has almost finished decoding it. Anything useful in there? Some names, apparently. Possible leads. Park is trying to connect the dots. We don't have much time. Does the team know about our mishap in Berlin yet? No, but if it's connected to one of those names from Bell, they'll find out soon enough. You won't let that happen, Hudson. Don't say anything more than necessary. That's never been a problem for me. Alright. 
But man, I'm starting to like this Call of Duty way better than uh, Black Ops 4, man. I remember playing the beta for this game. But I, I like the beta, though. The beta was pretty good. House we finished oh, analyzing the names Bella Quiet at Tanang. One in particular stands out. Anton Volkov. He's a Russian arms dealer working out of East Berlin. Admittedly, his connection to Perseus comes as a surprise. We've got killer capture orders on Volkov. So if we can't get to Perseus, we'll get to his men. Close off his resources, force him out of hiding. Mason and Woods are still wrapping up business in Kiev. Which means Volkov is ours. Gear up, and we'll move out. Alright. Alrighty, well guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. So if you guys do enjoy this new series, I'm going to start uploading this a lot more. So, peace guys.